A topology is basically just a POS word for a map. A network topology is basically a map of your network. It shows how the devices on your network are connected together. It's kind of like a street map of a town with roads connecting houses. Another way it's like a street map is that traffic can only flow in certain ways. Some cities have one-way streets, so traffic can only go in one direction. Network topologies are just like this. Data can only flow in certain ways in each topology. Some topologies are better than others, and some are out of date and only exist because of historical reasons. A star topology is shaped like a star. You have a group of computers connected to a central switch. The switch has the MAC address of each computer connected to it. A message when being transferred from one client to another must first travel to the switch. The switch will then use its list of MAC addresses to identify the recipient client. It will then forward the message to that client device. The advantages of a star topology are that you have fast connections as each workstation has its own connection. It will not slow down as much as other topologies when more users are using it. It is easy to add new workstations to the network. And if one cable fails, the other workstations keep working. The disadvantages of a star topology are that it's expensive to set up due to increased cabling costs and you need a central switch. The switch can be very busy and possibly slow down the network. And if the switch fails, the entire network fails. A bus topology is when there is no central switch, but every device is connected to every other device via a single central cable. This central cable is commonly known as the backbone. At each end of this cable are terminators, which prevent the electrical signal from bouncing back down the backbone cable. When a device sends data to another device on the network, the data will be sent out in both directions along the backbone and will be received by every single device connected to it. The data will contain a destination MAC address that will identify the recipient device. Each device will inspect the address and if it doesn't match its own MAC address, it will ignore the data. If the destination address does match the recipient's device though, it will process the data. The advantages of a bus topology are that it is a low cost topology due to the limited amount of cabling required and it is an easy network to set up and maintain due to its simple nature and the limited equipment required. The disadvantages of a bus topology are that if the backbone fails then the whole network will go down. Only one device can transmit on the network at a time so if the traffic is heavy this will slow down network performance significantly and technologies such as packet sniffers will allow devices to inspect packets not addressed to the device. This is a security risk. So, the topology defines the layout of the devices in a particular network. A star topology has machines connected to a central switch. It is easy to add new devices to a star network. The dedicated connections mean we're unlikely to be affected by congestion and if one cable fails, the whole network won't go down. However, it is expensive to set up due to needing lots of cabling and a switch. Also, the switch can be overloaded, and if the switch goes down, so does the whole network. A bus topology is when there is no central switch, but every device is connected via a single central cable. Bus networks are low cost and easy to set up. However, if the backbone cable goes down, the network goes down. Also, only one device can transmit at a time which slows performance and there are security issues.